You're from Neptune? My name is Kalnick, but please call me Cal. But you live on Earth? Mm -hmm. Me too. What do you do? Well, I'm an observer and I enjoy folk dancing. Uh, I'm an observer also. <laughs> A small galaxy. I mean, a few years ago, I never even knew there were aliens, and here I am sitting with two. <laughs> I know what you mean. I would like to make a toast oh, here. Oh. A friendship that spans the universe. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you satisfied with the Orkin? I can mold him into whatever I want. What about the woman? She's of no use to us. She'll have to be eliminated. And the child? The son, Mirth, is nothing but a useless mutant. No one calls my son a mutant. You should take a hike. But what are you getting so upset about? I mean, we have important business. We have nothing to discuss. You should leave right now. You'll live to regret this, Orkin. You're so sweet. <laughs> what is going on? You know I never cheat on you. Take your hands off! Oh, you're an android. And I am also a bomb. A bomb! Everybody okay, Mark? Still think I'm paranoid, man? Kill us after us. We gotta go someplace where he won't find us. I have a feeling we're never gonna see this place again. Arizona, it's beautiful, isn't it, Mint? Mm -hmm. Painted deserts, purple mountains. It's gonna be a great place to die. <laughs> All right. Now, I didn't say anything when you said you saw a cactus take down our license plate number. I did. But enough is enough, Mork. Mm -hmm. We've put a lot of distance between us and Cal Nick. Oh, Mint, don't you underestimate Cal. I mean, he's got a Porsche. <laughs> this is an emergency situation, and we need you, okay? So don't fall apart, like you do when your potato chip has a little green on it. Oh, I do hate that. <laughs> Would you write? <sighs> Gonna hang tough. It'll be cool. Right. Agent 46 to Kelnick. We've located the alien. Shall we take him? No. Keep him in sight. But save him for me. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Go. believe you, Mommy. You're asking an innocent child to sleep here in this dirt? <laughs> Mirth, I've explained to you, this is sort of a spur-of-the-moment camping trip, and you're just gonna have to bear with us, okay? No, oh, that's all right for you to say. You've got the air mattress. <laughs> we all agree that the coin toss was fair, all right? Night-night, <laughs> pleasant dreams. Night-night, sure. Now I've got this Gila monster for a pillow. Giorgio keeps hood ornament. <laughs> Talk about the Scarsdale diet. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Very funny. Oh, come on now, man. What are you upset about? You got the air mattress. <laughs> I don't like it as a tumbleweed, as a pillow. Mark, we have a dollar fifty-six left to our names. Now we've got to stay out of sight till we get a message to Dad to bring us more money. But to tide us over, I, I think we're going to have to pawn our wedding rings. No, Min, no. I mean, that's a symbol of our love and commitment. I mean, couldn't you just sell your hair? <laughs> Look what's happened to us. I mean, Morgan, the biggest thing we had to worry about yesterday was trying to find a decent plumber, and now we're running for our lives. I'm scared. Uh huh. So am I. Come here. Come here. <sighs> I should have known better than trust somebody from Neptune. On Neptune, Piazzora would have won the Oscar. <laughs> It's so hard to stay depressed around you. <laughs> oh, man. I guess that's why Ingmar Bergman doesn't come over and play tennis anymore. <laughs> Give to you, sir. I ever can you never tell you. You can get you, sir. To be in it. I ever can be a. Keep it in the video. I ever can. You've got to be in the video. Terrific. You've got to be in the video. You've got to.
Five love. <laughs> Look at this place. Looks like Sylvester Stallone's library. <laughs> Who cares? It's a better place to hide than Edna's reptile dinner theater. But I loved it when that iguana sang Oklahoma. <laughs> Hungry. Where do you suppose the coffee shop is? The last thing I had to eat was a junior mint, and that was stuck to the sole of my shoe. Yeah, but you didn't share it, you wretched little churl. All right, let's not start this again. Look, Murph, what we're going to do, we'll check in, and then we'll go to the coffee shop, and then when Dad comes, we'll be able to pay for it, all right? Come on, everybody, let's go! Come on, let's go! Come on! All right! This is the last one! <laughs> this is the last stretch of terrific! Let's all give ourselves a Hidden Hills hand for the splendid job we did on our run today! <laughs> Forget about what happened to Angela. <laughs> Time for lunch, everybody. Today's meal is a carrot stick and a picture of a potato. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Remember, you can never be too rich or too thin. <laughs> I have a feeling this place is a fat farm. Yeah, and what a bumper crop. <laughs> passengers to take luggage. Thank you, Stella. Okay, who wants to go next? <laughs> Mark, it's been three days of starving. I can't take much more of this. Yeah, it's almost like Mahatma Gandhi opened up a burger stand. Mom and Daddy. There's a woman after me. She's from Indiana and she's a widow. And she wants me to take over her late husband's shoe factory. Oh, a whole factory, son, you have my blessing. <laughs> Ruth, don't worry about it. Just try to stay in large groups. Around here, that's not hard to do. <laughs> oh, my looks have become a curse. <laughs> Mark, oh, Mindy, are you all right? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. We didn't want to drag you into all of this, but there's no one else to turn to. Well, honey, what's the father for? I'm just glad you're not hurt. Mm. Oh, Dad, I hate to be the cliched son-in-law, but where are Bucks? Oh, here you are. Oh, oh, bless you. Hey, hey, what's your hurry? I haven't even seen my little grandson yet. Oh, look at this mundo dinero. <laughs> oh, whoa, you must have got a great settlement in your hair transparent suit. <laughs> Dad, we don't need all this money. Oh, that's all right. I can afford to be generous after all. You'll never live to spend it. <gasps> Kelvick! <gasps> oh, oh, um, oh, Min, looks like we're not gonna hit our target weight after all. What has four legs and ten seconds to live? Well, uh, wait a minute, I know this one. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, I think it's, um, sounds like, uh, wait, it, Oh, would you shut up, orc breath? Oh, right. Both of you, put your fingers in your ears. Go ahead, and stand on one foot. Ah, ah, ah! Boy, do you look stupid! Because you're the only ones that can throw a monkey wrench into my plans. I have 
to kill all three of you and then get back for my haircut by four. <laughs> now, where's the little mutant? No, not Murphy. He's just a child. Well, no, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> You're insane. I'm just a product of your sick society. When I came to Earth, all I wanted to do was open a little restaurant. But I had so much trouble getting a liquor license, I decided it would be easier to take over the planet instead. Mark, well, I'm glad you shared this moment with us, because it probably makes you feel so much better about blowing us away. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, really? All right. Oh, Mark, Mark, if only you had my vision of the future. If only you had one-tenth of my power and brilliance instead of the ambition of a substitute teacher. <laughs> I infiltrated your government. I took an ineffective arm of a consumer protection agency and turned them into my own personal army. <laughs> I told them that you were the aliens threatening the planet. Catchy twist, isn't it? Thank you. There was a, a draft. <laughs> all right, all right. Any last words? Oh, Lord. Min, I'm so glad we had this time together. <laughs> just to have a laugh and a sing a song. Seems we just could start, and before we know it, comes a time we have to say so long. Okay, hold it right there. Ah, don't shoot me, Mindy. Don't shoot me, Mindy. Don't shoot me. Get out of the way, you dumbbell. <laughs> okay, you hold it right there. Oh, no, you wouldn't fire that gun. Oh, yes, I would. No, 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 no. I'll get us back to you by Tuesday. You <laughs> are. All you Earth women are good for is standing in line at the movies while your husbands park the car. Stay back! I'm not kidding! You don't have the guts! Yes, I do! I just don't have the instructions. Min! Min, I'm over there! Min, was that you or the Memorex? <laughs> that was my mother's ray gun. <laughs> All right. You just bought yourself another minute to live, but ooh, is it gonna hurt? Oh, yeah? What about this, huh? Oh, your dinky little finger is no match for my telekinetic powers. You You did it now, Jack. That's it. Oh, yeah. Come on. Jack, come on. Come on. Come on. Going anywhere. 
anywhere without you. Oh, Bethany. The ultimate Caucasian. <laughs> Son, we did it. Oh, you little pooterette. <laughs> Give me that high. Yeah. And a little bit high. So long, honking. <laughs> what did you mean when you said you didn't like my firm? Well, I, I did like your firm, man. It's, 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 it's too much. It's, it's wonderful. It's the heat of battle. And, come on, I never said I hated your hair. I just liked it when it was, well, attractive. Oh, great. So now I'm not attractive. Oh, I, I never said that. I mean, did I, son? I mean, just the other day, didn't I casually remark how, how attractive I thought your mother was? No, I believe you said that she looks like Marty Allen in a wind tunnel. <laughs> son, I mean, I worship Marty Allen. He, he's a lovely comic. You know, hello there! Mark, in? I'm not going to argue about this. I'm too happy to be alive to be as mad as I should be. Off the record, Mommy. I'm on your side. Who is me, Arth? <laughs> me. Mirth. Just trying to figure out how I can get that air mattress back. <laughs> Mark, nothing is going to stop Kelmick's men. Mm. They think you're the alien who's secretly out to take over the world, and they're just going to keep hunting until they find you. Yeah. It's only one solution, I guess. You and Murph take the jeep and go east, and I'll go west and try and keep them on my trail. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to leave you. Oh, bless you, hon. Oh. Well, let's see. Oh, well, there's one other solution. What? That's very dangerous, though. Murph? Yes? Come here. This has to be a family decision. Oh, we're going to have steak tonight? <laughs> you see, there's only one choice, but I think it's the only way. I have to tell the whole world that I'm an alien. See, that way they know I've got nothing to hide. Oh. I mean, it's, that's the only way. I've got to go public. Mark, for as long as I've known you, this is the one thing I've been the most scared of. You have no idea how people are going to act or, or how they're going to treat you. I don't know. I mean, come on now. Oh, I mean, I've lived in this plant for four years, and most of the people are very good. I mean, if they can accept Diana Ross as Dorothy, they can go for me. <laughs> we interrupt our regularly scheduled programming to bring you this live report of national interest from the Federal Building in Los Angeles. Ladies and gentlemen, the Secretary General of the United States. Good afternoon. I have been asked to make the following announcement. Five days ago, the United States government became aware of the existence of an extraterrestrial being living on this planet. Since that time, his origin has been verified by our nation's leading scientific and military experts who are present today. He will speak to you now. <laughs> Just like you rehearsed it. Oh. Huh? Huh? Hello, 
there. I'm Mindy McConnell, and, and I'm married to Mark here. Oh. Go Dodgers. <laughs> um, Mark came to this planet uh, four years ago mm -hmm. from a place called Ork. Ork is, is a very nice planet. It's a lot like Earth, as a matter of fact. It has uh, gravity and, and oxygen and uh, dog races. <laughs> uh, and now I, I want to introduce to you all someone who has proved to me that life on other planets is not only peaceful, but compassionate and loving. Mork. Uh, oh, good evening, Mr. and Mrs. America, and all couples that are just living together. <laughs> Tell him about yourself. Okay, okay. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I am an alien, and cold pizza gives me gas. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I know it, it's going to be difficult for many of you to accept me because I, I'm different. But hey, I, I really pose no threat to you. Hey, I'm just like all of you, except I have three hearts and no liver. <laughs> and who likes liver anyway? <laughs> uh, to be very blunt, I'm throwing myself at your mercy. See, all, all we want to do is live here in peace. I, this world has given me very, very wonderful things. My wife, my son, and now I think it's time for me to give you something back. You see, the universe, it's, it's a very, very big place. But if you accept me today, I think we take the first step to make it a little bit smaller. <sighs> um, it's, a, it's a great opportunity. Let's not blow it. I don't know what else to say, except I don't know. More, your days are numbered. 